Hey guys, are you ready for a massive kitchen declutter and organize with me? Today, I'm bringing you along as I completely declutter my kitchen. This will actually be part one of my decluttering series on decluttering my kitchen. I'm going to be pulling everything out of my cabinets, cleaning them, organizing, taking stock of what I have in my house, making in freezer inventory list, and just doing some deep cleaning. So I hope you're ready to do this together. So I'm just saying this because I'm sure some of you guys are feeling the way I feel right now. It has been in my calendar that I was going to declutter, start decluttering the kitchen. I am breaking it up so this is not an overwhelming project. I'm doing the top cabinets and I still don't want to do it, but I'm going to tell myself just get started, just get moving, and I'm sure I'll start feeling that motivation once I get going. So if you're lacking some motivation, just make a plan, start small. I'm not doing the whole kitchen today. I can't do that, it's too much work. Start small and just get moving. If you do one cabinet, that's all that matters. I'm gonna do Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. If you are a returning viewer, thank you for continuing to come back each and every week, each and every video. I greatly appreciate you. And if you are brand new to Jamie's journey, I'm Jamie. I am a wife and a mother. I have three daughters, almost three-year-old twins. They will be three at the end of March and then a six-year-old daughter. So I am a girl mom. I never thought I'd be a girl mom, but I am. I am very passionate about cleaning and organizing, decluttering. It's almost like a challenge to me to find new cleaning and new cleaning products and tools that really make a difference and that can make cleaning easier and maybe a little bit more fun for you. And ultimately, I just want to be that person that's there for you if you need me. Maybe to give you a little nudge to get a closet cleaned out, or maybe just be that person that you feel like you can hang with um, throughout your day. So thank you for being here. So my plan for today is to declutter the top half of my cabinets in my kitchen. And if you have a space in your house that you just feel overwhelmed and you know you need to declutter it, sit down and make a plan first. So I pull out my planner, I look at my month, for example, and then I'll say, okay, so I have those two, you know, these two weekends are pretty free. Um, you know, Mike can hang with the kids, so don't have, you know, those distractions. We don't have anything else going on. Okay, that first Saturday, I'm going to declutter the top half of my kitchen cabinets. And then the following Saturday, I will do the bottom. For me, I can't wait for the opportunity to just present itself to declutter and organize because that opportunity is never there. I have to create the time, make a plan, and then make for sure it's a time where I can really 
you know, spend some time and focus on what I need to do. So maybe, like I said, kids are my biggest, obviously, distraction. Um, and so it's, you know, making the time where my husband can be playing with them, hanging with them, or maybe they're visiting my parents or Mike's parents, you know, hanging out with grandma and grandpa for the day, and then just slowly chip away at it. So you do not need to do a whole kitchen. You don't even knew, you don't even need to do the whole top of your cabinets like I'm doing. Maybe it's just one cabinet every single week and that's good enough. Um, the one thing that we are really grateful for is we have a lot of cabinet space in our kitchen and it's nice to have that extra space, but then at the same time, sometimes the more space you have, the more stuff accumulates. And that's very evident in these two cabinets. These cabinets are really storing not for really storing anything in particular. It's kind of a bunch of random stuff that we do need, we do use in our kitchen, but it's not like it's like plates or bowls or things like that. So every year I like to go in here and get rid of some things. I'm actually gonna be filming this over three days. So after this kitchen decluttering, I have two more days of cleaning and I'm gonna show you an amazing cleaning hack that makes cleaning out your window trackings super, super easy. So how are you guys doing here in February? How is life going for you? Are you feeling okay? Are you feeling overwhelmed? I like to hear how you guys are doing, um, even though you know we're strangers essentially because we've never met in person. I do become attached to you guys. I do become attached to those of you who comment regularly on my videos or share important things about your life. Like thinking off the top of my head, I, I've had people recently share with me job interviews they've had or very early pregnancies that you feel like you can't share with anyone else. Um, I enjoy hearing those and that's why I love communicating with you guys through Instagram or answering your comments here on YouTube. It's just important to me to be there for you guys and I just hope you're doing well. If you ever want to share anything Maybe you're just excited about something or there's something that's bothering you and you just need someone to listen. Maybe someone you don't know because sometimes it's almost easier to share with, I mean, not that I'm a stranger to you guys, you know what I mean? But I don't know you personally. Sometimes it's nice to be able to share that with someone else. Um, so feel free to message me at any time. But as far as how we're doing, we're doing pretty good. You know, at this point in Northwest Ohio where I live, we're kind of over the winter. Um, but unfortunately, it's not really gonna be warm here. I mean, warm to me is like 65 or higher or 70. I would prefer like 75, closer to 80. We're not gonna get that until end of May, early June unfortunately. So this is where I think this, this part of the year just really starts to drag for us, but everything is great. I mean, I think something else that's crazy is I've noticed that the twins are getting older, you know, like they're following directions more, they're listening, they're getting into routines. And I can just see that they're moving away from that baby or that, that early toddler stage. And they're moving in to like the preschool stage, which is insane and I love it I love it but at the same time it's also a little bit hard but I'll admit after almost three years of craziness with twins I am excited for them to be a little bit more independent and I love seeing their personalities come out so this is a total random cabinet and it's on a corner it's a pain and so we just kind of store random stuff in here like we have special bottles of wine like one was when my sister-in-law asked me to be in her wedding Mike's sister she put like a special label said you know like will you be my matron of honor we have a bottle of champagne from our wedding in here like those bottles that we don't want sitting out we really don't have another place for them kind of like tucked them back there and then Mike uses a lot of can koozies because he loves like Diet Mountain Dew and a good IPA beer and he has different can koozies for like different sports seasons and sports and all that. So it's kind of a random cabinet that I just decluttered a little bit. Trying 
to get your attention you make me okay when it comes to medicine it's really important medicine or supplements it's important to go through that i should probably be doing it at least twice a year but i it's been a while so i pulled everything down and we had a good amount of stuff that had been expired and with kids you know you want to make for sure you have your tylenol ibuprofen cough medicine because when that stuff hits in the middle of the night you want to make for sure you have stuff on hand so i was going through getting rid of anything that was expired or supplements that I don't take anymore. I've been drinking Athletic Greens every morning. And so a lot of these supplements I don't even take anymore because it's just so much easier to get all in in my Athletic Greens water or smoothie. So um, I was able to get rid of a lot of stuff. And with this cabinet, I specifically like the basket system because it's so hard to reach, especially higher up. But it's also nice to have a basket for my stuff, a basket for the kids' stuff, Mike's stuff, and so on. So when we need something, when I need something, I can pull my basket or the kids, you know, like we need Tylenol, like I can pull their basket down. So the basket system is really nice for kitchen cabinets. So for this cabinet, this is where we keep our cups, like the cups we use on a daily basis. And I'm kind of skipping around different cabinets. I'll show you another cabinet that I completely skipped and why I skipped it. But with um, some of these cabinets, like the cup cabinet wasn't bad at all, but I still like to pull everything out of every single cabinet because every single cabinet that I pulled stuff out of, I got rid of at least one thing. And so that starts to add up over time. And in the next cabinet, I have all of our plates in there. I also have an organizer that I think I had gotten last year and it organizes the lids of our like food storage containers. And so I put all of the containers in a basket. Again, it's just nice because I'm short, kind of, or I am short, but I meant like it, it makes it easier for me to pull a basket down, pick the size of the food container that I need. And then this organizer, you know, sets all of those lids out. So it's easy for me to be like, okay, I need the black lid or I need the red lid, that type of thing. And it's also nice because if you get different food storage containers, you can alter where you put the dividers. Um, so you could have, you know, like fatter lids or skinnier lids and things like that. So I really like this because it makes it easier to pick out lids for my food storage containers. Okay, so I'm not going to declutter this cabinet because I think it was in September. I So I've recently already decluttered this, um, but I did wanna share these organizers with you. They are cup organizers and I just like it because I can see them. So when we're looking for a specific cup, I like how they sit that way because before I just had them stacked and then you couldn't see specific cups in the back. Uh, and you know, when you need like a, a insulated coffee mug, a travel coffee mug, you know what to go go for when Avery needs a water bottle for basketball or whatever, we know where to grab. So love these organizers. There's a, this one's a three tier one, two tier one. I will have them linked down below. So I'm not gonna declutter this, but I might, I'm like eyeing a couple cups and I might get rid of, um, 
But yeah, these are great organizers. All right, so that is a wrap for the top half of the cabinets. I'll tackle the bottom half another day. Um, okay, this is everything that we're either donating, giving away, throwing away, all of that. Over here is stuff that needs to go upstairs, that needs to be placed in a different area. That stuff Mike needs to go through. Um, So we are continuing on doing what we need to do this week. Reese's gonna help me. Yep, so um, twins are napping. Mike went into the office today, so I feel it feels really quiet in here right now. So I'm gonna try to finish up this list, get what I need to get done today, um, and hopefully it gives you guys some motivation. So yay, I finally took down the Christmas wreath. It's been like two months that I just left it up there, but I finally got it down. But anyways, this is one of my favorite ways to deep clean my window trackings because it just makes it easy. So you take baking soda and white distilled vinegar and a shop vac. It's like a wet, dry vacuum. So I will have the shop vac that we have linked in the description, but you just sprinkle some baking soda on the window tracking and then you pour some vinegar in there and then you let it bubble up and then I'll take a toothbrush, like an old, not old, but like I'll buy, I was going to say an old toothbrush, but I'll typically buy toothbrushes to use as a, for like a cleaning toothbrush. Then you get into all the cracks and crevices, work all that dirt up, and then you take the shop vac and it sucks everything up. And I've seen this method before without the shop vac, but then it's just, you're using a ton of paper towels and towels to get all of the baking soda up. And the shop vac makes it easy because it just sucks all of that liquid and baking soda right up. I will say it was kind of a pain because I was over the sink and I was like trying to navigate the shop vac and then be over the sink. It was a pain. I've done this before in our office upstairs in that window and it was just a lot easier because I could stand right in front of the window and use the shop vac. So it was kind of a pain over the sink, but I needed to do it because it had been a long time since I had cleaned this window tracking and in the spring and the summer we have the window open a lot and then it's right by the sink and all of that so i was like okay i need to tackle it So speaking of blinds, as I'm sitting here scrubbing my sink, you know, um, we're in the middle of picking out things for our new house. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you miss that announcement. I will have the video linked in this video's description, um, but it'll kind of explain when we're moving, why we're moving, how we came to the conclusion to start building and all of that process. But again, I'll have that linked below. But as I'm sitting here watching myself scrub the sink, you know, you start thinking, okay, stainless steel sink. What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Same thing with the blind situation. Like I like the look of blinds, but it's, uh, I hate the pulley blinds. So I've heard a lot of people um, get plantation shutters 
but I don't know. Like there are some things where I'm 100%, I know exactly what I want. Like it, I don't need to think about it. What type of countertops, for example, that I want. But when it comes to a sink, it's like, okay, well, I like the durability of the stainless steel sink, but I've never really had another type of sink. So it just starts, I don't know. It's getting my mind going, my mind thinking of all of the options. And like I said in the announcement, luckily we're limited on the options we have. So, um, but I mean, stainless steel sink will be one of the options. So I don't know, just trying to think about everything. Um, but it's kind of nice because we've had two houses so far. We've lived in two houses as well as I think like three or four apartments. And in the two houses, it, the house was different than our current house. I mean, they were both newer houses, but the like surfaces, flooring, countertops, all of it was very different. So I feel like it, it helps to, to try out different things um, to see, cause you like, you think you might like a different stove or you think you might like a different sink, but then when you get it, you're like, no, I do not like it. So anyways, um, just kind of get an idea, a running list of what I like and what I don't like. And speaking of houses, you know, I was just thinking because I've had the house on the brain and I was thinking about our past and houses we've gotten, houses we have not gotten. And I'm like, you know what? I'm sure someone is out there looking for houses and having a hard time finding one. And maybe this will help resonate, you know, with one of you guys. So we've lived, like I said, I think in three or four apartments since we've been married. And then we, this is the house we're currently in is our second house. Now, Mike and I do like newer style of houses. We like the open concept. We're also not the fixer upper type of people. Mike is a numbers guy, finance guy, uh, sports guy. He's not a DIYer type of guy and neither am I. So we've always wanted more up-to-date houses that were move-in ready so we wouldn't have to really do anything or hire anyone to do it. But um, the first house, or when we were looking for our first house, we put offers on two different houses. And when it came to looking for a house, our, um, you know, we wanted something fairly newer. It didn't need to be brand new, but fairly updated, I guess. So we wouldn't have to do anything, like make any changes. We also wanted it in um, a particular school district. And then when it came to our budget, you know, you have a, like, you have your budget and we would prefer to get a house in like the mid range of our budget or the lower end of our budget. We don't like getting to the higher part of the budget because we just don't. We're pretty conservative when it comes to our money and budgeting. And so the two houses that we put offers on that we did not get before we got our first house. So the first one was good budget wise, but it was in a school district that was still a good school district, but not our top school district, but something we were willing to you know, work with. And then the other house was in our ideal school district, the school district we're in now, but it was at the top end of our budget. And even though we could afford it and we could make it work for sure, we still didn't like it being at the top of our budget. So we, um, I mean, both situations, you know, were were totally were good we put offers and we didn't get either house for whatever reason so then the house that we did end up getting it came up on the website i jumped on it and we went to look at it the day it went on the market and it was um the people had foreclosed on the house so they didn't own the house it was bank owned and the bank you know just wanted to get rid of it and so our realtor was like this house is going to go today like if you want this house because it was I mean, like only a few years old. It was, I mean, it was on a corner lot, had a big backyard 
and it was just in like one of the top school districts in our area and she's like this is going to go so we put an offer on it and because it was the bank um they didn't negotiate they gave it to us and then when we sold it we made a killing on it because we bought it for so cheap and that helped us put even more money down for our down payment on this house so you know and then on top of that our neighbors that we met that lived across the street from us to this day are some of our best friends and so I just look at those like doors that were closed with the other houses and it's like, okay, it all happened the way it should have happened. I mean, now we are able to save so much more money um, by getting that house. It was a newer house. We met some lifelong friends and I'm sure if we would have gotten the other houses, it would have been like, oh, it all worked out because we wouldn't know any different, but it, it you know, looking back, I think that everything happened the way it did. So if you're looking for a house and you're frustrated by the market because the market is insane right now, just know that from my experience, it's all going to work out um, and you'll get the house that is meant for you. So you're going to see me mopping here in a minute with my O Cedar Spin Mop. I love that mop. I love that and my Tinco I Floor 2. I love both of them. I just kind of go back and forth, but um, love the O Cedar Spin Mop. And I throw in one teaspoon of powdered Tide laundry detergent. And I love the feeling of the floors when I use Tide. And I know it sounds so weird and that it wouldn't be good for your floors, but I promise you, give it a try. It's pretty game changing. Anyone else use their mop for a microphone? Hopefully it's not just me, um, but clearly I was rocking out again this particular day. But what you're gonna see after day two, on day three, I'm gonna do kind of like a freezer inventory because we have stuff in our freezers where I just know I need to use up. For example, like if I made a big, big, a big batch of chili and I had frozen some of it and I know there's like one or two bowls of chili in the freezer like not an actual bowl but like in a freezer container um and I'm like okay I need to use that up those type of things I'm trying to use up what we have before we buy more freezer foods So there is always laundry to be done and i'm curious do you guys like seeing me fold laundry in my videos is it motivating for you do you like seeing the transformation of like a big basket of laundry to all folded i feel like it probably is boring and i'm always like going back and forth like should i film when i'm doing laundry because you know what laundry always is there oh laundry always needs to be done so let me know if you like seeing me fold laundry We did it, Re. 
we did it we did it so oh, the house is nice and clean <laughs> for a little bit. We'll see how long it lasts. But either way, I'm glad I was able to get some things done that have been on my to-do list. So definitely feels good. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. And there may be some more cleaning tomorrow. There's a few other things that I wanted to do. We'll see if I get time. Sometimes it's a situation where I'd like to be productive and I like to be ambitious and getting stuff on my to-do list done, but I also don't ever wanna set myself up for failure because each day the amount of time I have is never promised, so we shall see. So hey guys, it is a Sunday night, and I thought I would bring you along as I embark on a project that I've been kinda of wanting to do lately. I'm trying to use up everything that we have in our freezers. We have multiple freezers and just trying to use up what we have before we start buying more things. We actually have not been to Costco in a while and I'm doing that purposely because I just, I'm feeling that itch to use up what we have in our freezers. So I printed this um, kitchen inventory checklist off and I wanna go through our freezers and figure out what we have and then start meal planning and pulling from that list just so we can you know use up the stuff that's in the back of all of our freezers so we're not wasting food um and i thought this this list would be good so like i said it's a sunday i'm sitting down i'm like planning out my week my cleaning routine looking at what we have going on as well as um like submitting our grocery list and our meal plan and before i do that i'm like all right let's let's do this it's been something i don't want to do but i think it's important to use up what you have and try to use that as like um, a challenge. Like let's let's figure out what we can make from what we have in our freezer before we start buying new things. So I'm gonna do that right now and I'll bring you along and hopefully I can inspire you guys to do the same. So I know it's insane to say we have three freezers, but we have obviously the freezer here in our kitchen that we use more day-to-day -day stuff. And then we have a deep freezer that pretty much has all of our meats. So we buy our meats, chickens, that type of stuff in bulk and we store it in the deep freezer. And then my in-laws, Mike's parents, recently got all brand new appliances and they were just going to, I mean, their appliances were pretty old, like really old. So they were just going to, um, dispose of the old appliances and we're like we'll take your old fridge and freezer combo and we'll use the fridge part for our drinks like all of our drinks and stuff like that for our garage so we are given that and in that freezer it has like the top freezer that sometimes I'll store some of like the kids stuff like stuff that only the kids eat so I know like when I need a meal just for the kids I can go straight to that freezer so it's kind of nice to have everything spread out because it it's able, you're able, more able to see what you have in each freezer. Okay, so I know you guys did not see what this looked like before, but it definitely looks a lot better. And now everything is in its own categories, like breakfast sandwiches, breakfast items, vegetables, protein. I think there's some fries in there, but like more, like chicken nuggets, mozzarella, Mickey Mouse mozzarella things, um, like chicken, ground beef, fish right there. So we have everything kind of categorized in here and at least we know what we have. And I have this, and I wrote everything down. So here now I'm gonna sit down, plan out our week of meals, grocery list, and try to pull as much as I can from these meals as possible. Okay, so I'm done with my inventory list. Don't mind my messy desk, um, but I'm sitting down here creating my uh, daily to-do list. So I sit down in my planner, do my like daily to-do list right here. I do um, like one to five tasks every single day. Try not to overwhelm myself because life is already busy enough. So I try to make it manageable every day, one to five things. And one of those could be picking up groceries, like nothing too adventurous. So I sit down make my list of one to five things and then i'm going to sit here and make my grocery list based off of all of the stuff that i just found in our freezers and hopefully start getting rid of the food that we've had buried deep in our freezers um, but I hope this helped you guys and maybe it'll motivate you guys to print off this list. I'll try to link this inventory lit checklist 
um, in the description so maybe you guys can do the same thing that we've done I'm kind of itch itching to go to Costco but I've told myself do not go to Costco until you've used up most of the stuff um, that you have in your home so that is my goal over the next week or two um, but yeah that's it thank you guys so much I hope this video motivated you I hope it's gonna encourage you to declutter go through your freezer refrigerator what pantry whatever it is um, thank you guys for sticking around have a great day and a great weekend I'll see you guys next next time. Bye.